Hey, Dr. Amy here. You know, after being diagnosed with cancer, you might think you can never eat dessert again. Just forget about it. If you wanna stay cancer free, it's healthy food only. And of course, if this is actually gonna help you stay cancer free, then you do it. But after a few months or weeks, or for some even days, your willpower, it starts to fade and you wanna eat something sweet. Well, in this video, I'm showing you my cancer-fighting protein donut. Yes, that's right, I said donut. Let's dive in. This recipe only takes 20 minutes and it's going to make a much healthier alternative of a donut than what you can get from your local donut shop. All the taste and none of the guilt. Okay, so let me tell you, a donut from Dunkin' Donuts, it's gonna be about 230 calories. That's 34 grams of carbs, 18 grams of sugar, and only three grams of protein. Obviously not something you wanna be eating very often after cancer. You're gonna love this recipe and it might even become your new go-to. So starting out, we're gonna preheat the oven to 325 Fahrenheit. Start by adding two thirds of a cup of flour to a bowl and then a quarter of a cup of protein powder. In this recipe, I'm using chocolate protein powder because I personally love chocolate, but you could swap it out for vanilla protein powder and that would be tasty too. All of the ingredients that I share in this recipe are safe for cancer survivors. Even if you have hormone positive cancer, the ingredients in this recipe are safe for you. Now, you may be wondering about adding protein powder. Is it good for cancer survivors? Do you really need it? Which one should you choose? I mean, with all of the options, how do you make a choice? Don't worry, I'm gonna make this so simple for you and share the exact protein powder that I personally use. Protein is a necessity for cancer survivors. Amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein, are what allow you to heal and recover after cancer. Without eating enough protein, your cancer recovery, it's probably being delayed. And it's important to have high protein options that are convenient, easy, and not to mention delicious. If you're not hitting adequate protein levels, then you need to act now. When you think about increasing your protein, you're gonna wanna think about chicken breast, tofu, or Greek yogurt. But this recipe is a prime example of how you can increase your protein, but also make it fun. As a cancer survivor, we have lost a lot of muscle mass through our cancer diagnosis and treatment. The addition of protein powder is such a great option because it's gonna help to increase your protein and regain back that muscle mass. This is also gonna help you feel fuller for longer and it's gonna give you nutritional benefits that other desserts just don't. Protein is a key way to help you recover from cancer fast. During my own cancer recovery, I didn't wanna rely on protein powder to get my protein in. So I tried for a while to get enough protein through my food. The treatment had made me so exhausted. I was too tired to cook. I was exhausted. I found myself reaching for convenient foods, which are more often high in carbohydrates than in protein. Not that there's anything wrong with carbohydrates, it's just we don't need more carbohydrates after cancer treatment than we need protein. So I gave in and I started using a protein powder. And here's what happened. It allowed me to get my energy back faster. Once I had my energy back, I had more time and patience to do more of my own cooking. I felt better. I looked better. Then I could start cooking more high protein foods and stop using as much protein powder. I recovered faster and I actually ended up not using very much protein powder at all. That is the best way to use a supplement. Using it as a stepping stone to help you feel better. Once you feel better and nutritionally have corrected the problem, then you replace the supplement with food. When we're looking for protein powder, there's tons of options on the shelves and tons of different protein sources like whey, egg, pea, rice, or casein. These options can feel really, really overwhelming. But don't stress, I've helped over 400 women in the Cancer Freedom Program navigate this problem. This is what I found. The most popular choices on the market for protein powder are whey and casein. These are derived from milk protein. Unless you're lactose intolerant or adverse to using dairy products, then this would be a good place to start. Once you decide on the type of protein, then you can choose the formulation. There are different options like concentrates, isolates, or hydrolysates. If you opt for a concentrate, then it's got a good amount of protein and it's the most cost-effective option. But sometimes concentrates can upset the stomach. Upset stomach was never something that bothered me while taking concentrates, but it's something to keep in mind. If you develop an upset stomach from concentrates, then I would try an alternative, isolates. 
Now, isolates have more protein per serving than concentrates. They also have fewer carbs, but they're generally more expensive. At the end of this video, I'm gonna link up the exact protein powder that I personally use, so stick around for that. Now, back to the recipe. Now, let's add two teaspoons of baking powder and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And in another bowl, let's mix together our wet ingredients. Add a quarter of cup of maple syrup. Using maple syrup as a sweetener is such a great natural option. It also naturally has a lower amount of calories, carbs, and sugar as compared to white sugar. Then add three tablespoons of olive oil and a quarter of a cup of low fat milk. And lastly, add one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla. Now, don't be fooled by the claim saying that we should avoid dairy as cancer survivors. You can absolutely still have dairy, but I would recommend picking low fat alternatives. Once all of this has been added, we're gonna mix until there's no remaining lumps. Then add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. I know what you're thinking, how are we already done making these donuts? It is that quick. These donuts are seriously quick to make and they're so easy. Not to mention that they're incredibly delicious and your entire family is gonna love them. This was the perfect recipe for a breast cancer survivor that I work with in the Cancer Freedom Program. She has two young boys at home and did not wanna make a bunch of different meals for everyone in her family. Now, of course, her boys, they love a sweet treat. And she was reluctant to try this recipe because she figured these donuts, well, her boys would not like them. She was wrong. They gobbled them up. She barely got one in herself. Now her boys make them with her. That's time spent together as a family to make a recipe that helps her recover from cancer. Amazing, right? Since starting to make these donuts, they now have a bunch of different holiday-inspired donuts. They swap out protein powders and they add different decorations to the top, depending on the holiday. As a cancer survivor, it is so refreshing to see a recipe that doesn't have 50 ingredients and take two hours to make. You have a busy life after cancer and you have other things to do. You have a life you wanna live. You don't wanna spend hours in the kitchen. Now, either with a spoon or a piping bag, I want you to put this donut batter into a donut pan. Only fill it up about two thirds of the way. If you don't have a piping bag, you can use a spoon or you can use a Ziploc bag with just a bit of the corner snipped off. Okay, and then put these donuts in the oven for 10 minutes. Now, once the donuts have cooled, you can enjoy. They store really well in an airtight container or you can put them in the freezer. Now, there's more to this recipe if you really wanna step it up. You can add icing. Here are some healthy icing options. To create a chocolate glaze, I'll take five tablespoons of cocoa powder. Then I'll add in two tablespoons of honey and one and a half tablespoons of melted coconut oil. Then lastly, I add in a tablespoon of low fat milk. Mix it all up and it's that simple. Drizzle it over your donuts, it's so delicious. Once the donuts are out of the oven and cooled, you can take them and dip them right into that glaze. As a cancer survivor, you shouldn't have to live in the fear of a cancer recurrence. I want you to stay cancer free for good. That means not only being free from cancer physically, but being free from the mental burden of cancer as well. If you're constantly thinking about cancer, you're not really free from it, are you? The good news is that there's a really clear path for you to be free from cancer. Close the chapter on cancer for good. Part of that plan needs to include your food. This recipe is a great way to start. You just learned a simple and delicious way to support your body after cancer. But you can't just eat dessert all the time. You need other healthy options for cancer survivors too. That's why I'm linking up this next video here on my cancer fighting salad. Click the link here, I'll see you in the next video.